Du melang. Mm. Mm. Since the power came back, I had to take like a whole minute to... By a whole minute, I suspect you anticipate that was a euphemism for like 10 hours. To uh, transfer content over to my computer. So now I've lost my chain of thought. Hopefully we're going to be restored and be good. Okay, look. Um, people desiring relief from Christian apologetics should just repent already. Because the very study of apologetics is intended to cause people who worship a particular strange religion to just stop. Don't fight that which you can't. If at all I have made a feasible and very poignant case for Christ, run with it. That is what my cousin is trying to do. She is trying to gain relief from my apologetics. I don't eat. So, instead of repenting, however, they choose to finish off Christian apologetics by relieving themselves in killing the Christian. Whoa. Talk about eradicating a bomb blast with a fire. Anyway, the dream that I had that was mildly apocalyptic but it wasn't entirely apocalyptic because until such time that the rapture has happened there is no apocalypse because we're still here but it was mildly apocalyptic to my particular course where there was like a seance activity going on and i was in the center of it but i hung sacrifice to random idols whatever my blood belongs to jesus um but nonetheless they did this the guy in the canopy that looked like my cousin was chewing bubble gum uh, i almost r- neglected to highlight that portion as to what it meant uh, but we're here now because i had time to think in the middle of my content transferring the bubble gum okay so i kept on asking the king king you got pc why i not judge your pc why are not a busy this dude? Because like, like it was very like nang shebile in the, as I'm the, in the center of the seance. Like ah, ja shebisi, right? So kaya What was the significance of the bubble gum? Ah, uh, I come from a time where I was uploading some strange content online. I did let you guys know where I was dancing, uh, essentially to carnal music in a carnal way. I've since brought down those videos and I've since repented. It was an um a crying out for help, frankly, that was going on there. Uh, yeah, because I used to use that to exercise but it wasn't a healthy kind of good dance right influenced by people like alia janelle and nicole kirkland i've told you guys that before go check out those videos peruse it anyway uh it was the one where i was talking about how voodoo and ancestral worship is following me i highlighted it there okay cool beans and bananas now when i was dancing when i was dancing I, I always had this thing that i did throughout my exercise i was chewing gum like uh, 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 uh. in my videos i would exercise while chewing bubble gum now bubble gum is a general favorite for me whether or not i'm dancing exercising i just currently am super poverty stricken so i can't just buy chappies Actually, no, we don't do chappies. We do Orbit Professional White. Just putting it out there. Um, lest you should desire to just throw one at me. Yeah. No steamroll. Orbit. Anyway, whatever. So I have been chewing gum for a minute. I've been known for chappies. Bubble gum has just been a thing. So in the black community, we call all toothpaste called gay D. So we call all bubble gum chippies. Let's just deal. So let's just take it as chippies, right? My cousin and I had a hola. Since I've always been like just this fantastical bubblegum chewer, ever since I could remember, um, it's been like something that kind of, you know, wreaked a little bit of havoc in our lives. Now, that kind of bubblegum chew, like, yeah, you will hear me when I'm chewing gum. I have a thing about gum. Frankly, people should keep gum away from me because I will make your life a living nightmare because I got it in my mouth, okay? I have a thing about gum. I do stuff like that. Yeah, you'll feel like it's a different language. And my cousin used to get irritated with it when we were growing up. Like, ever since I was a teenager, we were teenagers. We were the, we were the same. We are the same age. Remember, we were very tight, grew up next to each other. I was that chick. And she always used to be like, God, I will stop it. That thing is annoying. And I'd be like, sorry, sorry. And I'd stop for like half an hour, then I'm sorry, sorry. Yeah, she always hated my bubblegum thing that I did. But it was my bubblegum thing, and it was a, a quirk that she couldn't stand. But it was a quirk that was also our thing. I was the girl, and she couldn't stand it. But, you know, it's those nuances in relationships now. The bubblegum thing never stopped, of course, because Gara was just like, it didn't die. Azanka Tokafala, the human sacrifice ritual, didn't work, remember? So Gara uh, moved from Chappie's bubblegum to Orbit, because now I'm working, and I'm professional. Yeah. And it also whitens teeth. Uh, okay. Cool beans and bananas. So I graduate from Chip BC 
to orbit but I don't stop with the qua 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 now the thing about nostalgia is it can really pick at your bones when you are a miscreant a derelict you have decimated the life of an innocent human being and this innocent human being you shared a quirk and a nuance and once upon a time when you were growing up in a you bore a pa qua pa Every time busy. Yeah, but like when you've lost her, yeah, all of a sudden you wish you like that bubble gum starts to become music to your ears. Know what I'm saying? Mm. All of a sudden, yeah, So the very thing that used to annoy my cousin now all of a sudden she kind of wants it back right these people are living in regret but instead of walking in a godly repentance that leads to godly guilt that leads to repentance they work in a walk in a worldly repentance that leads to death and the thing that causes them an extremity of revenge you know but you feeling entitled to revenge or sabay it's an ex bansas queen she will see why not over out she's sitting just because but look back who's able to go and they don't want you moving on with other people they then hurt you because you're leaving them because they had to be left and so bansas queen she on an unsqueenchable person yeah said that visual this cousin has lost me do you understand and so things that were just whatever like caraboy is this thing that she does catch happy in him borrower you could say that still run a little bit the atj girl who relates on her today if you and I didn't have a relationship it's willing to link but now all of a sudden is music to my ear to your ears why because you've lost me but just like a boyfriend that loses immediately because he was a adesh bag uh, the dude is gonna all of a sudden raise up in his heart Davy Jones vibes he's going to feel murderous towards his girlfriend immediately is going to be on the receiving end of his wrath so the things that he used to underestimate you know una borwa ke taba hore ha 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 ja chicken o hlafuna masapo ene ya modena that thing because if you like to cherish not be chewing bones or something now all of a sudden when I was doing a video on YouTube. I suffer from a sapo a chicken. The boyfriend sucked the whole other ex. On some, and she used to chew bones, and I hated her so much. But now I wish she would chew them all day. Cause now you've lost her. But instead of repenting, cause you realize you were a dead bag, you then go and grab a death curse. You go and you convert garabo someone into garabo mukwe. Now we're not gonna bat. Because now you are reminded of something that was a nuance about her in particular. It was something about her. And that's always been Garabo. She's always been about that bubblegum business. That was what triggered my cousin. When I was doing my dance videos, and really busy, you know, like licentiously wiggling myself about like a twerker. Um, I was chewing gum throughout it all. And she, it, to her, it was like, hey, she's still, she's still into gum. Since then, the LED type is like, She's always been that bubblegum chewing Shakira. Snappity snap. And now she's not in my life. And then she got angry. Oh, the Marie's again. Now, and then she got angry. And then she decided that I need to go and commit suicide. It was a plethora of things. These videos that I uploaded on Facebook that she got to see with me acquiring bubblegum while I'm dancing. It, it, it reminded her of that particular nuance of mine. But this time she could not even be agitated at it because rather have Karabo or Twanzang Chepisi than not have Karabo at all. But Ukarabo this time Ukwati Lagazingeni, Upumegu and Obi Atagata. But instead of repenting, uh, sister dog. Instead of repenting ninja dog sisters, eh, uh, decide that okay, bulala omenyum tana ngoba. Eish konge, she likes to twanza bubble gum. So everything that reminds you of our historical days, our nostalgia, the I could think of better days. Everything that reminds you of that makes you angry, upset, and livid. And now you want to kill me. Something you don't believe, I don't because you twanza. Since you get twanza, you chip easy. You made sure, girl, that we can't share memories anymore. I don't get saying it now. Since you get twanza, chip easy. We hope on. How we hope on? How we hope on? Not get saying it again. How about a little story? That's the sad thing about you. Next part.